Hey guys, happy Saturday. I hope you've had a great day. I hope you found your silver lining of the day already. Um, if not, there's still hours to go. Um, I just wanted to pop on here and talk about normal. What's normal? Who's normal? So I watched something today on Instagram that I thought was very interesting um, because I say this all the time. I just want to get back to normal. I just want to get back to me. Uh, I'll be better when I get back and do these things again. I'll be better when this happens because it'll be normal. And, and she made a really good point of saying, we are kind of putting our life on pause because we're waiting for this normal thing to happen that, you know, it's kind of unobtainable. It's kind of like this, I don't know. It's, it's a thing that's out there floating in the universe that you just can't really tangibly touch, you know? And, um, yeah. And, and I do this. I've done this. And I'm sure everybody has. Like, I'll be better when this happens again. But when we do that, we kind of completely stop living and being happy in the moment because we're waiting for something in the future that is really not a set goal you know like maybe if it's I lost five pounds you have a goal but that's never the case that's never the case it's not like oh I lost five pounds life will go back to perfect it's just this 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 aura of a way that we think is normal and I don't know it really touched me today that I have done this that I just want to be back to me I just want to get back to normal and and in the meantime, there has been a little bit of a hesitation in my day to day because I'm waiting for this thing to happen that I'm not even quite sure what it's going to happen. What is it? When my hair comes back, I'll feel normal when my hair comes back. I'll feel better when my eyebrows come back. I'll feel better when I've lost this 10 extra pounds that I gained during chemo. Um, I'll be better when five years down the road from now, when when I know I'm out of my danger zone, you know? So what, am I going to wait five years until I can have that sense of happy? And, and we know I'm happy. I'm good. But I told you, this whole cancer journey is a mind game. And probably a worse word, a mind you know what. But we're just going to call it a mind game. <laughs> but like I said, this lady was really spot on when she said we're putting our happiness on hold for something that's out there in the future that may or may not be something we can actually obtain and not why why not be happy right now which I am by the way I'm happy I am I live my life to the fullest I am go 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 but that mental side you know still gets to you like something's off you know so hopefully this is my click. Like maybe this is one of the steps in finding Robin 3.0. I felt like it's a very important moment in my development of moving forward. Even though I feel like this video that I'm making is not very informational. But I do feel like it's an aha moment to me. That maybe what I'm striving for or all cancer survivors are striving for it's almost like a coping mechanism, you know, to, to get through the phase you're in. Um, cause I'm going to get back to normal. I'm going to get back to normal. My body's going to be back to normal. My, my, my brain's going to be back to normal. My hair is going to be back to normal. And, and I don't know. I don't know. I know I'm kind of rambling again. This is going to be a lot of this rambling stuff. I, I apologize, <laughs> but, but I really, it really has struck something. I really feel like I might have heard something today that's very important. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I don't know what you guys think, but finding a normal is is a normal thinking. And I'm thinking that that thinking is wrong. You know? Maybe we should just move forward with the way life is, enjoy every moment, see where this journey takes us, you know? We don't have to always do the same things we've always done, you know? Which is kind of funny because in business, one of the worst things I hate to hear employees say is we've always done it this way. Like, 
as a business owner, you do not want to hear that. We need to change things, but we've always done it this way. Well, we're not going to do it that way anymore. So, so why wouldn't I want to take that same thinking with my life as I do for our business? So anyway, I don't know. It's kind of my thought of the day. What do you think? Anyway, happy Saturday. Thank you for being here for my rambling. And uh, yeah, I, I don't think I'm going to say I want my normal back. I think my new way is going to be I want to see what kind of spectacular future I have going on. So happy Saturday. See you next time.